On May 17, 1900, the George M. Hill Company of Chicago published a children's book by L. Frank Baum that would eventually become one of the most well-loved stories of the 20th century. This book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, is considered by many as the first American fairy tale that incorporated the very American ideals of agriculture and industrialization. Although it made its way to the stage in 1902, it wasn't until the 1939 film adaptation that it became an iconic piece of American history. In fact, this year the film celebrates its 75th anniversary. There are a few of us who can't remember the first time we heard Judy Garland sing a little song by Harold Arlen and E.Y. Young, Harvard, excuse me. A little girl in her gingham dress sings about some place where there isn't any trouble. Do you suppose there is such a place, Toto? There must be. It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away, behind the moon, beyond the rain. 